Good night, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Speak Your Mind show. We intend to have a wonderful show tonight. I have with me my guest, Edge Winker, here with me, and we're going to be performing the usual thing that we usually do. We're going to be coming into your living room with the issues that are affecting us in this community now. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, but right now. We're going to talk about a couple of the issues that we feel are important in this community at this time in the history of these Virgin Islands. I, again, good night, and I'm going to ask Jawinka to say good night to our viewers out there. Well, peace and blessings, everyone. Uh, certainly a pleasure for me to be here, mm -hmm. uh, hanging out with Courtney's, sitting in for our friend Sam, who couldn't yes. be without this evening. Yes, he's, he's with he's, us this evening. Yes, he's so. absent because of some conditions that he had to take care of, and we wish him all well, all well in a short recovery time. Sam, you know, we're right here for you. If you want, you could call us as well. Right ahead. That's okay. right, yeah. So we got, um, it's going to be an interesting uh, program tonight, uh, Courtney. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I know you plan to talk about the articles published by uh, a Washington-based journalist group yes. that has... Uh, attack us. Well, yeah, basically attacked us. Attack uh, us. Said that they have some information that was leaked yes. to them, and mm -hmm. they seem to be focusing mainly on the British Virgin Islands. Yes. Uh, but I, I've noticed uh, recently, though, they've uh, switched to Europe and other jurisdictions as well. Yeah. So it seems like a general attack on off the offshore financial services. Right. And certainly we are right in the thick of that. And as the Premier said in his address the other day, about 60 cents of every dollar uh, comes from that we spend comes from that sector. So certainly uh, any impact any negative impact to that sector will have a tremendous or uh, even a devastating impact on us as uh, individuals or citizens of the territory. That, that, is, that is so correct. Uh, if you only have to take a look at any budget that we have passed in the last how many years and you'll realize that you know, the, a, a good portion of, of the, the money that we make in this country is a result of the legislation that we have in place that controls the financial services sector. I want, to, I want to emphasize that there, that it's the legislature that we have in place that controls the financial services sector that generates the business. Yes. Okay? And I, and I, and I, and I, I, want, I, I, I thought about this before coming here, and I wanted to just say a couple of things about that aspect of it as well, right? I wanted to remind persons, like, where... We all were. I mean, you, you and I were in the United States for a while, and then we came mm -hmm. back here. Um, I want to remind persons things like this, so that we could put this whole thing in perspective, that in the early 80s, okay, there was a guy named Ronald Reagan, and he was the president of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And when he came to power, one of the first things he did was he canceled or... Or, or got rid of or, or make illegal the double taxation treaty that the United States had with the Virgin Islands. That was one of the first things he did. And I don't know if our viewers out there are aware, but when I, whenever I say something out of line, you can always call and let's, let's debate it, but that was one of the ways that we made money here before, where we had that double taxation treaty, meaning that persons who live in the United States or United States residents were allowed to claim this jurisdiction as a tax jurisdiction as well as their own jurisdiction. So you had things like you had people having a second house and then to, by extension as well you had people having a boat and a house and claiming both of them as tax write-off. As deductions. As deductions, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, because this good gentleman cancelled the double taxation treaty, or, or our government at the time had to seek ways to change the game, so to speak. 
and make a new game happen for this country. And this is something that we have done in the past when we went from fishing and we went to farming, we went to walking tourism. overseas, tourism. Mm -hmm. We are always moving the um, the well, goalposts. We, we, we always look, we are looking for, always looking for ways to sustain, to survive. Our, to sustain ourselves to and survive. survive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's in the it's in the blood. Yes. It's in the blood of the people, the women, the men, the children, everybody. We have that built-in mechanism. A part of our culture. Part of our culture. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. To take it a little bit further, my brother, after that, we had a good chief minister, the, the Honorable um, Sir Romney, and he was instrumental in pushing us in the financial sector area. That's what I, I again, I said, if that's, anyone, your, that's, your, that's your recollection. I, again, of I best. said, if anyone disagrees with what I'm saying, you can always call and we can debate it, okay? However, the rest is history. The re legislation was drafted, and we, we had, you know, we, we've moved forward. We, we've gone so far as we have a, a separate entity as the financials, um, as the financial um, regulatory body that's totally separated from government that deals with financial services, etc. And of course, you know, we have a lot of revisions to the laws, and we have a lot of tax. Um, exchange initiatives with a number of countries and we are in compliance with a lot of the different regulations from A to the, Z. The, the system uh, basically as you, 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 you're indicating uh, Courtney yes. has evolved uh, oh, oh, into oh, a oh, mature and sophisticated. You say evolved, I like to say mushroom. Okay. It has uh, mushroomed into what it is. In, in, into a, a more sophisticated and, and look, a lucrative system. Yes. And we are and, and because of that I think mm -hmm. we've come under some attacks from the the OECD, OECD, yes. and uh, and other governments around the world. We've uh, they've been trying to get us to comply with, with with various laws to 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 make sure that the taxes that are supposed to be due to them are not are not denied. And I think that's one of the things that uh, they've been trying to do. And whatever whatever rules and regulations and 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 and, and restrictions they try to place on. The, the offshore jurisdictions, the, the Virgin Islands, the BVI, has been the leader in complying with all all of those those regulations yeah. from wherever 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 source they come. That's true. And, and as a matter of fact, uh, there are a number of countries that copy what the BVI has done so far, and they are also providing similar services to what the BVI is providing, and they have a, a share of this mm -hmm. um, of this industry as well. And what and what and what basically is 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 is, is this service is 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 a very simple service. Uh, we no longer have an income tax, and it allows uh, persons who want to do business in a place where uh, they they don't have to they are not going to be taxed on their transactions. They pay us a fee to to keep a company open up a company in the BVI. They pay us uh, fees for the transactions. But we don't, since we have no income tax, we don't tax but, them but on, then, the, on, on the profits of that transaction. In, but in addition to that, there's a very serious side of it where officers in, in, in trust companies are required to do due diligence. They're required to have compliance officers. They're, they're, they're required to know their, their customers, um, you know, the, the extent of knowing the customers to the point where they must know who the directors are, where the, the source of income, a, a lot of different things they must know and, about and, their customers. And, 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 all, and all of those, all of those rules and regulations were, were, were handed down from from the, the United States, Britain, the the, the OECD, uh, so that we, you know, the, uh, the we could be protect, the world could be protected from money laundering, from uh, use of of offshore tax companies, evasion. tax evasion, use of offshore companies yes. for terrorism, for, 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 and, 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 and all of these uh, criminal activities that are going on around the world. So yes. the, 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 the legislative framework and the rules and, regulation that, rules and regulations that govern the financial services industry yes. is designed to make mm. it a, a, a legal uh, and well-regulated uh, mm. industry. And BVI, again, as I said, has been the leader in mm -hmm. compliance with those 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 regulations. So when when uh, the the the, the uh, so-called consortium of of reporters in Washington uh, mm -hmm. put things in their their, their paper uh, in their in their in their press that we are a, a, a tax haven 
and a secrecy jurisdiction yes. is uh, is patently inaccurate. Mm -hmm. We uh, and, and 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 I think we need to draw a distinction between uh, secrecy mm -hmm. and privacy. Right. Uh, a secret. Uh, when, when you talk about secrecy, it, it means that under no circumstances, uh, the information sh will be revealed. Yes. As opposed to privacy, where it is your personal information. You know, you got your bank account, you got your business dealings and mm -hmm. your transactions. Mm -hmm. You don't want the world to know your business, so right. you know you you, the, the, you you have a right to privacy. Of course, right now and, and if, you have if, a right to privacy and to keep your trade secrets as well. Right. So yeah. so when so when if if something is wrong, mm -hmm. there are agreements where uh, uh, persons or governments with legitimate uh, questions about any particular company that's housed in the BVI of financial transaction, there is a process that has been an uh, international process that has been established yes. to accommodate that, th th that type of information. Mm -hmm. So that is different. I think that, that is the difference between uh, privacy and secrecy. And when you talk about a tax haven, uh, we are not preventing anybody from, um, from, 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 from paying any taxes. So and, and most of the money, I, matter of fact, I dare say perhaps virtually all of the money that uh, it goes through the companies in the BVI, that's, uh, with, the, with the transactions made in the companies that's, housed, that's domiciled, let me say that that's a correct term, domiciled in the BVI, that money doesn't stay in the BVI. It's, 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 it's perhaps banked in Caymans and some of the other jurisdictions. Yes. So it's not like we have hundreds of billions of dollars or trillions of dollars stored in banks in the BVI. We are not in the banking business to that extent. We are facilitators of transactions um, with companies that's domiciled in, 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 in the BVI. So a lot of what they're saying is patently false. Another thing, too, if you notice their articles, they have an agenda. They're not just reporting the, the, the events. Mm -hmm. You know, they are saying things like, these tax havens or these secrecy jurisdictions or the, 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 they, they, they have to be destroyed you know they, they, yes. they must go yeah. and, 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 and so and the, so they take no account for the people that's living here yes and, and, and our, our dependency, our livelihood uh, and our quality of life mm -hmm. they, they think that the low fees that we make from the financial services sector uh, they, 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 they should have it and, mm -hmm. and, and really we don't have the money uh, that they need to be taxing. And if, and, and, if, and if they want to tax the rich, why don't they tax the rich in their country? That's, that's a good point. And, and on top of all of that, uh, Ajibinka, we seem, we, seem to, um, we seem to have not gotten any support, uh, or little support, I should say, from our home government on this issue. Uh, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think they have really came to our rescue in any, um, in any meaningful and forceful way. You know, I don't think they've, they've stood up and said, look, you know, this is the, these jurisdictions that you're speaking about fall under our government, and we are confident that you know, what you're saying is, is not true. We haven't heard anything to that extent. Yes, and, 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 and I'm, I'm surprised by that because I thought that uh, the governor and the prime minister of the UK would come to the defense of the British Virgin Islands in the international media because when they speak, when, 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 when Prime Minister Cameron speaks, mm -hmm. that, the, that information is reported worldwide. Yes. And it would have been a perfect opportunity, would have saved us a lot of money yeah. to have, you know, now we have to do damage control, we have to hire uh, public relations firms, we, you know, we mm -hmm. have to have strategy to try to, to quell this groundswell to argue of. Man. Yeah, of, 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 of persons in the world right. that think that somehow we are keeping them from having a good quality of life. And I think it's something that people here in the Virgin Islands may not be um, too cognizant about, but this costs money. All of what you just described Hundreds of thousands costs of dollars. a lot of money. A lot of money. And this yes. money has to come out of the same pie that is our budget. That's right. So some so, things so, are going so, to so, be lessened. So, so Prime Minister Cameron... Yeah could have certainly have saved us um, perhaps millions of dollars yeah. uh, that we, we now have to spend on damage control mm -hmm. had he defended us uh, publicly and said, you know, mm -hmm. the British Virgin Islands, uh, what, you, what you have there, mm -hmm. uh, the so-called leaks that you have, uh, is uh, from uh, as a, as a isolated 
incident from perhaps one or two trust companies and we don't know how we don't up to now we still don't know how they got the the information they don't they're not telling us where the information comes from mm -hmm. they're not releasing the files themselves right. to, the, to, the, to, the, to the to the governments they are just making these statements these these erroneous statements and inaccurate statements and it's basically i, I see it as a, a hatchet job on the people of the virgin islands mm -hmm. Well, you know, be that as it may, I, I think we can expect more of this type of, 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 uh, of behavior in, in the future. Because uh, when you have something and it, it, is, um, it, is, it is something good, people do two things. One, they try to emulate it. They, they mm -hmm. try to do the same thing that you are doing. And two, they, they try to destroy it. You know, so that's that's part of uh, human nature, I think, you know, especially if it's if it's something good, if it's something that is working, you're going to find two camps. Yeah. One that's going to say, look, you know, man, this thing is so good. Let me Take let me jump on the band. We're going to let, wanna go on let me this, become right. a part of this. Let me let me do exactly what they're doing. Let me get the laws that they have mm -hmm. cross out Virgin Islands and put in our country and go ahead. And then the, there's the other set that would say, well, look, you know. These guys are doing something and they're gaining from it, but you know we are not a part of this, so let's try to destroy it. And I think that is the the part that um, that those those guys that make up those reports and 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 uh, speak about those leaks and and whatnot. Uh, this is not the first time this happened, you know. I don't know if you remember there was a guy here that said he went around town sometime uh, about a year or two ago and he yes. said he went to some trust companies and he got uh, information. A Canadian, a Canadian that a, printed a, 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 an yeah. article, I think, in one of exactly. the Canadian uh, newspapers. Exactly. Talking about the, the big and guy. He had, the even had yes. photographs of Rotown in his article and stuff like that, you know, to tie the two things together. So. Well, 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 you know that the, 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 uh, the media, some media, it's some international media, I understood, this, descended on the, on the territory uh, a, a few days ago mm -hmm. and wanted to be taken around and take pictures of, of, of our homes in the hills and, 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 and the country and, and, and our cars and so on to get a, a, a to, to give a, 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 a view or a perspective on, on our quality of life here in the Virgin Islands because it seems as though uh, these people in, in, the, in, the, in the metropolitan uh, countries in the United States and in Europe uh, have the notion that we are live, our quality of life is much better than theirs because of the the, the money that they should be taxing, mm. which 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 is not true. Mm. They, they they can tax these if these people these persons who are doing business with companies in the Virgin Islands yes live in Europe and the United States then they can tax they can tax these people okay right they mm -hmm. can, they can tax them. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't. We don't they, have they, the money here. We just charge a fee for, the, Rinka, for, the, for the businesses that they do. As Rinka, not only can they tax them, but they also have regimes in place that can penalize and and deal with people who are uh, you know refuse to obey the law and pay their taxes. They have they have a system in place. That's right. Every now and again, you hear about some entertainer who didn't pay. They um their taxes and they they have to um they arrest them they, they lock them, them up they repossess them. their properties what all all of that all of that all of that yeah. right and and uh, and they they you know they're right for doing that because that is part of the law of the country. However, the laws that we have facilitate persons doing business at trust business, um, uh, company business, international company business, etc. And all laws are straightforward as far as these issues are concerned. And, and they've been in place now for the last almost 30 years. And I think, I might be wrong, but I think when we reached that threshold of over 1 million companies, that is when people really started to, to you know, to really to take notice, take, take high notice, yeah. take high notice of what we were doing. And, 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 and that's, that's, that's understood. I, I understand that. And, and this, is part, this is part of a uh, 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 capitalist democracy, mm -hmm. really, where mm -hmm. Uh, persons, businesses, governments, mm -hmm. uh, in capitalist democracies, see opportunities mm -hmm. and move and go for it. Yes, and move to to to, to fill that need, right. fill that demand. They go for so it. that so that they can do make to make a, a better life uh, for a better quality of life for their people. That's right. E e everywhere there's a capitalist democracy. That's what was, that's 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 what happens. Yes. It seems to me that there's a, a, a perhaps a push for 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 global socialism. 
It might, you, you, it might, you, very, you, might very you, you well know. be. Might very well and, be. And I think that uh, perhaps uh, Europe and the United States finding themselves unable to compete with Asia. Yes. Uh, are now perhaps looking to 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 to, to see where they can get the money from and look to us in the Caribbean and, 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 and other jurisdictions to get to get that money. I see. You know. Well hold that thought now though, uh Ajawenka. We're gonna um, have to take a break for the sponsors that make this show possible. So don't move your dial. We'll be right back with you. We're just gonna take a short break. With Digisoft 4G, discover hundreds and thousands of apps available from the Google Play Store, allowing you to do more. Listen more. Feel more. Love more. Play more. See more. Like more, share more. Make more of every moment. 4G phones available from just $99. Sign up for a digital 4G data plan from as little as $1 per day and explore the Google Play Store from your Android smartphone. Put extraordinary at your fingertips. Be extraordinary, Digicel. Subject to availability, Digicel terms and conditions apply. Ladies and gentlemen, we are right back with you, the Speak Your Mind Show. We're here discussing all these pertinent issues in our community, and we've, we're, we're doing the hard talk. I have Ajawinka and myself, we're here talking uh, on and off um, the air, and we're, we're pretty much hitting the points as hard as we could hit them. We're talking about the, the financial sector and the, the, the leaks or the... Or the, 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 the the situation surrounding the so-called leaks that we're hearing about and the, the, the way we should respond to it. We have the numbers up there as well, you know, 300-1949 if you're calling and 300-1950 for text. And we're, we're open, we're, we're here, we will debate with you, we will talk with you. We have to talk some of these things through. Some of the, we, we've been without talking things through for too long and we need to start being more vocal about what's happening in the community. And I, I, I stand behind that. 100 percent, and um, and you know it is it is a way of knowing what's on my mind. You saying what's on your mind, and finding out if we're incorrect. In, sometimes I, I know I sometimes I have to correct myself, or I sometimes people correct me. But at the same time, you know you have to allow people to express themselves in the community that we have because it's a way of growing as well. It's a way of informing yourself about you know, the things that you might be thinking about and not expressing yourself. So, speak your mind. Come yeah. on, let's I, go. I, th I think we, uh, I, it needs to be said as well, uh, Courtney, that mm -hmm. uh, the government of the, uh, the Virgin Islands, uh, through the Financial Services Commission, mm -hmm. ha has been very diligent in enforcing the regulations uh, that, that have been established, international regulations that have been established. Uh, many warnings were given, for example, there's some of these, uh, these companies, these trust companies in, in, in the Virgin Islands that have been engaging in activity that is either unbecoming or just uh, illegal. Because, you know, all over the world there are laws yes. and people break the laws. So you need enforcement. That's the reason why you need law enforcement. You we need, have, you we need have the Financial Investigation Unit. That's right. We need yes. enforcement for these laws. Yes. And these, some of these companies, the ones that the, particularly that they've been uh, talking about that's leaking, that has leaked information, it was, it was, first of all, it's two trust companies out of 97 in the territory mm -hmm. that, that, that this, 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 this event happened mm -hmm. uh, with. So it's not a systemic event. Mm -hmm. It's not a government event. 
mm -hmm. is two trust companies where according to the, 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 the articles, mm -hmm. this information uh, came from. Mm -hmm. the, the, of course, the government has won these companies. Some of the companies have been sold to other companies. Some have merged with other companies. Yeah. So, the, the, you know, this is just an isolated incident. And for, for the international community, if, it, if it is international news organization, to make uh, such strong accusations against the, the Virgin Islands when there are so many other jurisdictions that have challenges, jurisdictions in their own backyard. You know, as I said uh, the other night, uh, Delaware is a major financial services sector, uh, sec uh, country, uh, state, yeah. uh, sorry. Uh, London is, a, is a, a, a financial capital of the world. You have Luxembourg, you have Switzerland, you have major European uh, cities and countries involved in, in the same services that we are providing here. And so they need to be... Uh, uh, attacking those in the same way to single out the BVI, uh, particularly when it's just an isolated incident with a couple of two trust companies that perhaps no longer even no longer exist, uh, is, 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 is totally unfair. But the, the, I, th I think this, this speaks to something, uh, Courtney, that you've been talking about uh, for a long time. I know certainly I have been talking about for a long time. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the weakness, mm -hmm. you know, and, or, or, or I should say the fragility of the financial services sector uh, mm -hmm. as, as something that we should really be banking on. The way, we, the, way, the way we have taken the financial services sector and, 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 and mortgage our lands yes. to, 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 um, to have the things that we have, to have the quality of life that we have uh, and base that mortgage on the sustainability and the reliability of the financial services sector might uh, be proven to be a mistake. Yeah. And certainly with these new developments, we should feel, we should be quite concerned as a people that, uh, that, that, that we do not, uh, be, uh, we are not in danger of losing, of losing those lands. Because if 60% if mm -hmm. of each dollar is circulated in our economy, mm -hmm. when that is gone, Mm -hmm. There's going to be quite a few of us who will not be able to pay our mortgages. That's true. Quite a number of us won't be able to sustain our businesses. That's true. You know, yes. qu quite a number of us who have invested uh, millions of dollars, mm -hmm. millions of dollars in real estate, for example, office buildings, apartment buildings, houses for rent, mm -hmm. all mortgage, all uh, our land that has been passed down to us from generations, yeah. will find those lands alienated mm -hmm. or expatriated right. uh, because we lost the financial services sector mm -hmm. and are unable to pay for mm -hmm. those, those mortgages. You know, Andrew Winkler, as you were saying that, um, what's going through my mind is, have we thought of a contingency plan? Do we have a contingency plan? And if we don't have one, now is the best time to wake up. This is a wake up call that we need a, a, conting a contingency plan. We should be able to, you know, plan ahead from now. You know, you know what I think on a, as well? I think of one time someone was uh, lecturing to me about uh, Trinidad and Tobago and when they had oil in abundance mm -hmm. and they never saved and they never did the projects that they should have done. And they, never, and they never took care of the, the issues that needed to be taken care of. And then all of a sudden, the value of oil dropped tremendously. So if you, if you were thinking on making $100 billion in that year, right away you were just making 10. Mm -hmm. So you had to adjust everything. As a matter of fact, when the person was lecturing to me, Trinidad and Tobago was applying for a loan at the Caribbean Development Bank, which was something they hadn't done at all because they had no need to. Mm -hmm. So they had to learn the process of how to apply for a loan at that stage in the game. Well, we could be, we could be very well put in, 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 same, a, sim in, in a similar situation, situation because right now we have a crutch. And I think, and I think, you're, I think you're right. Yeah. What, what is our contingency plan? Mm -hmm. you know, and, we, and of course, again, we've been talking about diversifying the economy for, for many, many years. Oh, yes. And I was happy to hear uh, Dr. Pickering, the Minister of Natural Resources and Labor, and talk about 
talk about developing the fishing industry. Yes. And to me, it's not happening uh, fast enough. Mm. You know, we need to get we need to get that 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 development on the road. We need to get it going immediately. And I think uh, the, the the minimum we could start with is having enough storage in in the facilities to buy all the fish the fishermen come in with and pay them on the spot. I think that incentive is enough to spark the the the, the fishing industry as a, as a, as a sector. And as they grow and develop, of course, we grow and develop with it. But we need to have uh, that as a sector. We also need to perhaps look at legislation that uh, can help us to to protect our lands in the event that uh, we, we we come to a point where we might have to default. Now I don't know what form and, and, that I don't know what form that would take, and and how and how and how and and, and, and But we and, need to start talking about. But we it. need to start looking. We, look, we at need least, to have a conversation. At least yes, at least investigating, we investigating have, it. And I, I just want to add something to what you're saying, which I'm really kind of, um, you know, kind of very critical about from time to time, and I, I I hope people don't take it wrong. But usually when we're talking about land, I like to still include the seabed mm -hmm. and the 200 miles. Mm -hmm. of protected area that we have that's vested in us by international regulations okay and if you if you have something if you have a pack and you refuse to go around your pack if you refuse to clean your pack refuse to put up a fence everybody will take away your pack and everybody will use your pack one of the biggest one of the biggest and most productive path of our fishing industry is the is the, the, the part where they, they, they go in the, in the, in the deep sea and, and bring back, you know, the wahoo and the dolphin and all mm -hmm. those things, right? I mean, people would buy that immediately in our market here. I'm, I mean, locals, I mean... You can't um, get enough of it to sell. You couldn't get enough of it to sell, mm -hmm. okay? I, my, my friends, as always, when they come into town, it's a line of people waiting to purchase stuff from them, okay? And this is, this is, some, this is known throughout the industry. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and we, we treat it as if it's just passe. You know, it's, it's, it just happens. We don't want to nurture it. We don't want to encourage it. But yet we would let people come from St. Thomas and, and other places, Japan, and fish in our as waters. Far as, we, as, far, as far away as Japan. As far away as Japan yeah. and fish in our waters. Get a license yeah. and fish in our waters. So, you know, we, 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 sometimes you have to wonder if we, if we understand what I was talking about before, where we have come from to where we are at now. Yeah. And, 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 and certainly the other aspect of, of, of that, and, and, and why we develop in fishing, we also need, of course, to strengthen our tourism product. Of course. And, 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 and I think too long, for too long, the tourism product has uh, lay uh, dormant or have been allowed to, 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 to make its own way, yeah. so, so, so to speak. Uh, we have not shown any innovation I, I, over I, the last several, uh, several years in, 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 in tourism products. I've, I've traveled quite a bit. I mean, I, I, I did a lot of traveling, right? And one of the things I, I've noticed with um, some of the, the more pro, you know, productive places in tourism, like you know, your Disney World and your, your, you know, your Hawaii and all these places, right, is that they make a, a real serious effort at tourism. They, 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 they manufacture and program the tourism sector. They don't allow it to happen by, by, by the chance, chance. Mm -hmm. or by, or by um, frequency of flyers or, or frequency of, of, of airlines. They manufacture the product and sell it. Mm -hmm. you're not, if you're, you, you know marketing. If you don't sell the product that you have, it's very unlikely that anybody's going to know about it, number one, and buy it, number two, mm -hmm. use it, number three, you know, yes. so, you know, th th these are things that we all know from the textbook. Yes. That it works. Okay. Yes. You do it. You, you make a product, you, you market it, you market it, and, you and market you, and, it. And you, have to, and you have to market that product where to people who have money to buy the product. Of course. You can't continue to market the, your product to people who can't afford to pay their mortgages. If That's you can't right. afford to pay your mortgage, you can't afford to go on vacation. That's right. You know, if you're out of house and home, you certainly can't take a trip. That's right. And I think um, relying so heavily on the U.S. market in a time when... On, on, the economy on, on, is I, upside I, down. When, when, in, I, on certain economic times in, yes. in, in the United States, mm -hmm. I think, I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a, a mistake. Yeah. We need to start looking at... at in, in, which, which I think... That is, what, that is why I'm... We need so to start looking at other markets. And, and, and I think the, the government is, is attempting to do that now. It should, but it's something that should have been happening uh, long, long ago. Yeah. 
I, I, I tend to um, be a little hard on our uh, economists and the, the people from the, 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 uh, the development unit because putting out correct, accurate statistics on a country is very important. This is the information age. Mm -hmm. This is where people look at. We have a call. Let's go to the call. Good evening. You've reached speak your mind. I'm a little out of breath, but go ahead. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. You know, in, in listening to to you guys, I think that um, one of the things that we have not been able to do very well is to uh, make a commitment to the specific industries that we want to grow. Um, it would be great if just announcing that we would buy all the fish that you can produce um, was enough to establish the industry. Um, but as we've noticed in some other countries, there has to be uh, some more investment and some backing made, especially when it comes to the development of new industries. Um, if you look at industries like Silicon Valley in the United States, where they themselves provide specific low tax structures, um, and they create an environment for their young people to invent things that the next Googles of the world and Facebooks of the world uh, can gather. And when they finish, their president of the United States goes around the world with his best companies, and he is looking for business for those uh, companies consistently. And I think that although we have made those uh, announcements in that we want to grow these industries. We are almost waiting to see what will happen if, they, if people will come forward. But sometimes we have to make a, a, a deeper commitment, especially to the, the beginning of an industry, to finance it, make sure the people who have um, the, the, the individuals that you're targeting who best fit the, the bill have the, vehicle, have the boats and the equipment uh, to carry out these things. Because even if I say to you that I'm going to buy your fish, if you bring it, that doesn't mean that a bank will give you the loan to upgrade to these vehicles, these, these new boats or these new apparatus that you might need for this industry. So it is important for the development bank and the government lobbying power and for the industry to be brought together so that the industry could actually take off and I think that some of that stuff is what we're actually missing as a people, how to bring all of these pieces together and wrap them in so that the industry can take off. When it takes off, maybe there's no need then to keep making some of those investments. But to get them off the ground, especially when it comes to new industries, you're going to have to really push it very hard and you're going to have to back it and pay attention to it. So, thanks. Well, th thanks th for that. Th thank you for that. Um, uh, your point is very well taken uh, that any startup business, uh, well, if we, again, I'm going to go to the statistics. If we had um, statistics on startup businesses, you'd see that a lot of startup businesses fail. One, some of the reasons you, you were speaking about are some of the very reasons why some of the startup businesses fail. Not enough support, not, not enough exposure, not enough government buy-in, uh, you know, a number, of, a number of things, right? And... Uh, Point very well taken, and, and um, I'm sure the persons listening to, to the show who would be in a position to make changes in that area would take note and, um, and, and do likewise. You know? Yeah, but I, I, I too, uh, Courtney, quite agree with the caller mm -hmm. that a greater commitment mm -hmm. needs to be made in, in, in a sector that you want to develop to make into economic pillar. Yes. You know, uh, however, I think. If you are starting uh, without any investment, certainly you, 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 the facilitation of what you have already would, would be a step. Would be a, 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 would be a, a spark. Positive, a, a, a positive a, a, step. A, yeah, a positive a step. A positive step, yeah. definitely. And, and perhaps that positive step would drive uh, a greater commitment. Yes. You know, uh, and, and what, what I mean by that, and, and I think uh, one positive step. Um, that was made by, by the government was to buy ad additional stor uh, storage facilities. 
to, okay. to, to, be, able to be able to to hold more to store more fish. Okay. Right. So what it means is that when I go out in my boat, my little boat, you know, I haven't we haven't gone to the big boats yet. Right. So we are we are at the point we are at the beginning mm -hmm. where we are right now. Yes. So when I go out in my little boat and I bring in a couple of hundred pounds of fish, I know that I could go back in the the, the wharf by the fishing complex in Rotown, Town, take my fish, my couple of hundred pounds of fish off the boat, put it on the scale, mm. get, and get my check immediately yes. uh, for mark, the market value of my fish. Mm -hmm. That incentivizes me. I, don't, I, don't I no longer have to get on a truck, take the fish off the boat, mm -hmm. put it on my, my pickup, mm -hmm. and drive through the village selling the fish. Uh, that, that, that I could, you know, I, you know, as you're saying that, you know what's going through my mind? I, I have a friend in, in West End, mm -hmm. right? I'm calling his name for mm -hmm. whatever reason, right? But he goes so far as to clean a fish mm -hmm. before he bring it to sell it. And that is like a, a added plus. As soon as he gave you your stuff, you could go straight to 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 uh, to the pot, to the and, pot yeah. and, it, and it's a done deal. And and, what and, and that's a marketing strategy that he has. But what but what I'm saying, yes, and I, and I agree with you. And and that, and, that, and and he could expand that business if he if he, he opened up all his if fish he every day. If, every if, day if, he brings his fish. All his day, all his fish is sold. And he can open up his own facility, of course, and 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 bring his own fish instead of having to bring it to the complex. Exactly. So, so, so I mean, that is then that is a, another direction that the industry can go. Yes. So, but what I'm saying for now, as we as as we try to light a match, you have the the the, 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 the boats come in, the fishermen get his fish, the fish is clean and prepared for the public, and 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 and, and all of us could go to this location and buy uh, the fish the fish that we need already cleaned to the to the pot. Mm -hmm. Now. That, 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 as a fisherman, to me, as a fisherman, that takes the worry about me having to go and sell, from me having to go and sell the fish. From you so, having so, to market. Right. I mean, I mean, so yes. I, I, become, I become, like in all businesses, in mm -hmm. like all uh, business sectors, you have the manufacturer, yes. you have the wholesaler, and you have the retailer. Yes. So as a fisherman, I might, want, I might choose to be the manufacturer, yes. the person that catch the fish. Yes. And when I bring it in, now the government has put itself in a role as the wholesaler and retailer, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And so, to me, that, that, that is a spark that could signal the beginning of more and more people realizing the, the economic benefit of fishing, the yeah. immediate economic benefit of fishing, start to use their boats and their small boats, sell the fish, develop and grow, into, into into bigger boats. For example, if the if the banks are seeing that all the fish the fishermen's got the their, their records to show the fishermen got their records to show that every month they are making a certain amount of money from fishing on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. That would be cause for the bank to give them additional loan in order for them to buy a bigger boat. Yeah. So that would be growth. Now yeah. you could you could you could start that way. Mm -hmm. Or as a caller said, mm -hmm. you could the, the, the government and the development bank yeah. could invest and yeah. start the industry on a larger scale. How is that Jabinka? Hold that thought. We're gonna come right back to that point again, but we're gonna take a, a break for the sponsors and make this show possible. So we're gonna be right back with you shortly. With Digicel 4G, discover hundreds and thousands of apps available from the Google Play Store, allowing you to do more. Listen more. Feel more. Love more. Play more. See more. Like more, share more. Make more of every moment. 4G phones available from just $99. Sign up for a Digicel 4G data plan from as little as $1 per day and explore the Google Play Store from your Android smartphone. Put extraordinary at your fingertips. Be extraordinary, Digicel. Subject to availability, Digicel terms and conditions apply. 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're right back at you. We're right in your living room. Again, the numbers are up there, 3001949 if you're calling, and 3001950. And of course, if you call from a Digicel phone or text from a Digicel phone on this show, the call or text is absolutely free. So do join us. Do join us and, and you know, dialogue with us. We, we, we want to hear from you. We, we don't want to only expand our own ideas. We also want to hear from you, the community. This is a community program, and we always entertain and accept, you know, the, the, the dialogue with the community on the show. So be a part of the show and, and make it happen. Yeah. As we were saying... Uh, oh, yeah, we Courtney, the, 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 the point is uh, of, of, of the discussion, and the discussion is shift from, you know, what the, the hatchet job is being done yes. uh, on, on the Virgin Islands to... Uh, solutions. What, solutions. What 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 can we do? What, what can we do? Because yeah. I mean, we have we really have little control over what happens in the financial services industry, mm. and if we were to if we were to lose the financial services industry, and 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 it seems that there is a commitment by the international community, by France, Germany, United States. Uh, and others the farmer owners of colonies yeah you don't have to go any further we know to, to the farmer and present owner yeah of, of colonies to to as they then as they like to put it yeah uh and tax havens yes you know and of course which we are not but we will be included in that i'm sure yeah to end tax havens then that is a serious serious attack on our way of life our, on our lifestyle yeah and and as i mentioned earlier we have uh, uh, many of us in many of the homes that everyone thinks that um, we own and we are living uh, high on the hog, so to speak, uh, are, are mortgage. We have yeah. mortgages to pay. We have borrowed money from banks. Uh, we have built buildings with that money. We have built houses with that money. We build uh, apartments with that money. And we have to pay the bank a hefty sum with a lot, a lot of interest. Every, every every month and if we don't have people renting those apartments if we don't have companies renting those office spaces we won't be able to pay for those things so we need for those for, the, for, the, for those for those homes and those buildings so we need to start looking at other ways uh, to make money other ways to bring money into the territory mm -hmm. and of course strengthening the tourism sector is certainly one of those things that, that, that the government is looking at right now, that we are looking at right now. And, 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 and as I mentioned, the fishing industry uh, is another one that, that we, are, we are looking at. But we need to look at, at whatever is available. Yeah. Uh, we, the the, the energy, energy production is shifting from fossil fuels to more natural uh, uh, sources. Yeah. Uh, like like wind and solar power. Yeah, uh, well, well, you know we, we have, have we, abundance. You know, well, you know we also have a challenge in that area because we have legislation that doesn't permit the alternate use of energy because the, well the, those the things those they things they are easy. But those things is, are easy to change. Those is, things are easy this, to change. This is legislation that needs yeah. changing. Yeah, those things and are we easy have, to change. We have thirteen committed members. Yes, so okay? that's right. So and, and so those those are industries, those are new industries, new technologies that we could get involved with. We have an abundance of both sunlight right. and 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 wind. We, 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 are, best with, we are best with the trade. Just like how I'm doing that, it's just a stroke of the pen, you know. Just yeah. a stroke of the pen that's necessary. So, yeah. So those so all of these all of these are areas that we need to take a look at to see how um you know what what what, what we can do. Uh, uh villa rentals. Uh, we 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 are we are uh, uh, geared towards uh, trying to develop, trying to encourage major hotels to come in, uh, hotel chains and, and, and management mm -hmm. uh, managers to come in and bring uh, big hotels mm -hmm. to, to, to the territory. Uh, perhaps, that's a, perhaps that's a good idea, but the con our economic control continues to remain in the hands of, 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 of investors 
uh, of investment, of foreign that, of, investors, of, of investment that is that is not in, in, in the foreign territory investors. of foreign investors. Yeah. And so we need we need we need to now look at being more active participants, uh, Courtney, mm -hmm. in our own growth and development, mm -hmm. so that these things that are happening to us now mm -hmm. won't, won't won't happen. Well, well, because I'm, you know, I'm when, glad I'm glad we reach around to this area because I was talking with a colleague just mm -hmm. just recently and. He said to me that one of the countries, and I, 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 I can't really quote him for saying this, but he said that one of the countries, maybe one of the other overseas territories, said to the, the people, look, you know, we can't just give you all of these concessions anymore. We're going to cut them in half. You know, at least that is a start. Well, we, I, we give the people that come to this country total 100% concessions when it comes to development. And we give our local people zero. Courtney, I've been saying this. I've been saying this for years. Mm -hmm. the, the, there was a time yes. when we had the land. Yes. We didn't have a lot of education, a lot of know-how, a lot okay. of skills. You're going all the way back to Rockefeller days, you know. That's where I'm going. That's exactly where I'm going. Uh, we didn't have a lot of skills, a lot of knowledge, yeah. and we certainly didn't have a lot of capital yes. to, to invest in infrastructure and so on, yeah. right? Well, we made the sacrifices. Our leaders, um, we really say they were good or bad. Mm -hmm. They made the sacrifices. We gave up a lot of land, a lot of our beachfront property. Uh, we sold a lot of land. We, we Just encouraged. Just so we gave up a we lot. Gave, we, gave, we gave all of the pioneer status and all those, concession, all those concessions you talked about yes. earlier yeah. uh, to, to persons to come in and encourage them to come in and invest. Yes. And that was necessary at that time. It was good for them. It was good for them. Mm -hmm. Times have changed. We have taken some of that money. Um, God has blessed us. We've been prudent. Some of our leaders have been prudent. Some of our leaders have been visionary. That's right. They have uh, taken some of that money and uh, educated us. Of course. Uh, we have uh, grown in, in, in knowledge and mm -hmm. capital. We've, we've, we've earned some money. Yes. We've, in, we've invested in businesses. We've invested in our economy. We've invested in our country. We have grown. And now, a lot of the things that we needed... Uh, in foreign investment, we are now able to do it. And I'm not saying, I don't want to be misunderstood that I'm saying that we don't need foreign investment. What I'm saying is that we need to play a more active role in development of our economy. Or put it another way, we don't need the foreign investment the way we had needed, needed them it in the past. 20, 30 years ago. And so ago. The, concessions, the concessions that we had to make then yes. are no longer the concessions that we have to make now. And, and, and so we should and, be getting more for our, our, private, for our land and, than, we, than, we, than we are getting. And if I may draw the analogy, I may draw the analogy by saying that what was required of a job 20 years ago is not the same thing required of a job today. Yes. And the perks that you get for a job today are not the same as a job you would have gotten 20 years ago. Absolutely. In other words, the swimming pool and the BMW right. or the Range Rover and all those things that you get now, you were not going to get those 20 years ago. Yeah. Okay? If, you, if, you want, if you want to equate our natural resources of, of water, uh, trade winds, and beautiful beaches and people as our oil that we are selling, yeah. then there was a time when oil was $10 a barrel, yes. uh, now it's $100 a barrel. Yeah. So you can't expect our product no. to remain the same price, the same $10 a barrel yeah. or this for, for our tourism product as it was then. It, we have to get more for our product as, 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 a, as the, the market developed and as, as we grow as a people. Mm -hmm. Well, well Adjwinka, we have a text that came in here. Uh, I'm going to read it. He said, you heard that Johnson wants Prickly Pear Island National Park for himself. Now, uh, that, that sounds to me like you know, somebody just wanted to make, make a, a, a statement that is unfounded. But I, I read it because this is a speaking mind show, and we're, we're here to, to dialogue with you in the community. Call us. Call us and tell us about it, you know. Um, but the type of, the type of uh, thing that this texter is, is describing is exactly what we're talking about, that we should see no more of that type of activity in our country, where people... Uh, using the same tourism product that we should be selling for their own good and in some cases endorsed by government. Yeah. And the, 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 my, my big concern is what we are getting out of the deal. Exactly. I, you, I, don't, I, I don't mind our, our investor coming in and say I want to develop the country, but there's got to be a list of things that we, a, a list of benefits that we have to get from, from the deal. It can't be that you come in, build your infrastructure, get all the benefits 
take, uh, take advantage of all ancillary services that spin off from your mm -hmm. business. Don't even hire local people or bring your own, people bring, who are here bring, already. Bring your own, bring bring your your own, own people. employees. Exactly. Right? So mm -hmm. then what, what, what is it? Head tax? All, all we are supposed to get from a dealer is head tax? I don't think that that's enough. No. Yeah. I, don't, I think that's insulting yeah. I don't, I don't to the, think I think that's, that's insulting that that's to, the, to the people who have stayed here and, and, yeah. and, uh, and ensure that this place exists in the first place in order to be marketed and sold and 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 uh, yeah. and, 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 so I and think, managed. I think that I think that our governments, you know, this government and future governments, mm -hmm. we we need to be, and, and the people mm -hmm. and, 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 and 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 need to be thinking about ways to 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 secure ourselves. And, and sustain, we, we, sustainable yes. development. We, ha we have, we we are, we have a, 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 a major national security challenge on our hands right now. Yeah, I agree. And, and while I say that, I need to say that as a people, we need to unite. I think that there's a lot of division among us, and there's a lot of division being sown um, by ourselves in each other and with each other that we need to curtail, we need to stop. We, at this particular point, we need all hands on deck we need to definitely unite as a people and help each other so that when it, because remember Courtney, as we were growing up as children, when we had very little, it was the unity and the love for each other that sustained us during those days. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And, and, and also the, the fact that we cared for each other. Well, you know, abs ab absolutely. The fact that we cared for each and other. I could get, get a cup of flour. My mother could get a cup of flour from your mother. Uh, yeah. A cup of sugar from your mother. Mm -hmm. uh, I could, you no, could I, send over some food for your, for your grandfather. I could have come to East End and I was well taken care of. Yeah. So okay. we, so we, so we have, you know, we have. It won't be the same, but the concept, mm -hmm. the concept of unity, the concept of looking out for each other, remains the same. Mm -hmm. You know, and we have to uh, employ those those cultural concepts, those long lost cultural concepts again, for in, for this period in time for our sustainability and our very, very survival because I think our survival no, is going to depend on unity. No, I, I agree with you, but I think it has to be something that has to happen across the board from the top right down to the bottom. Yes. I think we have to start looking out for our brothers and sisters who are less fortunate. I think we have to really pay attention to people who have serious challenges in our community because these people are the same people who will end up in your face or in my face at any time because they're having a challenge and we, refu we refuse to accept that they're having a challenge and try to help them. Yes. And that this is a serious problem, I think. I think it's a very it's serious a very problem and I think what you're saying is true. We need to probably pay more attention to what's happening in the country on a whole. Pay attention to the budget. Pay attention to the speeches that are being made every day. And not only, not only pay attention, but pay attention with a view to offer a solution or yes. to be a part of the solution, to, to help attended. with the solution, not yeah. to criticize and destroy. Yeah. Because we see they have a tendency mm -hmm. to be critical, mm -hmm. not offer a solution, mm -hmm. and in the process destroy ourselves and destroy each other mm -hmm. while others come and pick up the pie and go with it wholeheartedly mm -hmm. while we fight for the crumbs. Mm -hmm. I and think we, that, and, that, that and, has to stop. And, and our leaders have to definitely support us uh, m much more than they are. We have to, we have, they have to support us, they have to support and we us. have to keep them, hold them accountable, and, and, they, and keep their foot to the fire. And they have to be out there fighting for us the same way they're fighting for expatriate people. Okay? <laughs> they, you, can, you, can, you can't be making blatant statements and saying, oh, we want external development. And you can see external development plans being approved, being pushed, being, being t spoken about. Mm -hmm. And no, no, no local plans are being, you know, advertised, uh, approved, um, given concessions. I mean, I mean, at all. It, it can't be. It can't, it can't be. be it, can't, it can't be that we are not the beneficiaries it, it, of, of that opportunities it, developing in our country. Exactly. Yeah. It it cannot, that, that cannot it, be the that, case. That cannot be the norm. No, nah, that cannot that, be the case. That cannot be the norm. And it's a, you know, I may be wrong and I may be ill-informed, mm -hmm. or I may not have the facts. We have a call. Good evening. You're free. Speak your mind. Go right ahead, please. Good night. Good night. Anyway, can I say you are hundred percent with what you're saying tonight? Thank you, sister. Mm -hmm. I I say you. Uh, mm -hmm. So we mothers who stay here in the BVIN and get six, seven, eight, nine children, we suffering here in our country. Mm -hmm. We suffering in our country. Well, we don't already have numbers. The government should be glad that some of us stay here and put, you know, something here so that the next future coming. We got some numbers coming, but we get discriminated and disadvantaged in this country. So I said I 100%, you know. 
Carl, I'm so need to come together. Carl, I'm so right. glad Thank to I'm so glad to hear your voice and I'm so sad that you called so late into the show because we only have like one minute left of the show. If we don't get a but, chance to discuss but, your concept. We can't get a chance to discuss it, but I seriously I'm asking the question of our community right now. What is all what is all uh, family planning issue with our government right now? What is their what is their policy and what we are going forward with because I'm hearing some things that I don't like. I'm hearing things against the marriage act. I'm hearing things against, um, you know, the same thing you're speaking about, where people feel like one family should have one child or two children. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing this, and I want to know if this is the official position that we're going to take as a country. I, I, I too, am very concerned about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We ain't talk about too much here. The, the, the word indigenous need to come out the dictionary because indigenous don't mean how it used to mean long time. No, we ain't indigenous people no more here. Right now, you know that w because of our new tax structure, two people cannot file any kind of taxes or anything like that as we used to do before. We have, we have abolished a lot of the things that held families together. One thing I'll say before I go to the, the old people and my grandmother time, them had more vision than these people here who we put to make all these visions. Have a good night. All right, good night, my dear. Right. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you very much. Thank you very much yeah. for that call. Yeah. We see, we I, th I think, uh, Courtney, we, we as a people, generally, people like the, the caller, we have to hold our governments uh, accountable. We have the habit of electing people to office and then just abandoning them, just leave them to go off and do what they want to do instead of calling them up, talking to them, organizing ourselves so that we can show the strength in numbers Mm -hmm. and, 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 and holding them accountable and, and, and making them do the things that we want them to do in order for our survival and our, our uh, yeah. ability to thrive. Yeah. You know, because we, we, just, we just sit back and, and, and grumble yeah. among ourselves and fuss at each other mm -hmm. and, and while everybody's going ahead doing what it is they want to mm -hmm. do. And, and, and you, can't, you can't do politics that way. Politics yeah, is not a, four, a, every, a once every four year thing. You know, yeah, politics yeah. is not only about it's voting. A, it's an everyday thing. Yeah, politics is about life. It's an everyday you know, thing. It's, a, yeah. it's about life. And we I read the last text here now. It says the reason that this is so is because our leaders are not looking out for the people unless they have an interest themselves. Well, that may be so, but we, we, as, as Adjewinka is saying, we need to change that around. Yes. We need to change it around where we have all politicians at the table with us. The, 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 there's, a, there's an interesting question uh, that we need to grapple with. Yeah. Are we, are, are, are politicians corrupting us mm -hmm. or are we corrupting our politicians? Yeah. On that note, I have to say that we had a, a very good show. We don't even have time to wrap up. We're out of time. We had, I, I'm, I'm really glad I had you at a, as a guest, uh, as a winker. And I think we stored up some, some controversy for, for thought. You know, in uh, a, a number of issues, we were able to look at the, the, um, the of course, this, this the, um, attack. the attack on the, on the Virgin Islands and the whole financial services industry. And we were able to, you know, show some, maybe, maybe some insight into some areas where, you know, some diversity can help. We talked a little bit about, you know, how we can also look at some strategies, you know, to, to have a, a second and a third option, you know, some, yes. some, some mitigating things that we can look at. And we also got some, some, some texts and some calls that made the show very good. We talked a little bit about the alternate sources of energy and other things like that that can improve the fisheries, that can improve all quality of life in these Virgin Islands as usual. And of course, I give a little kind of background history of where we came from and where we're going. And we're going to continue to push these issues, ladies and gentlemen. We had a wonderful show. You have any last thoughts you want to give, Adjewinka? Well, I think unity is the key to our success, and okay. uh, we, we have to find a way to, to love each other again. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to stop destroying each other, stop saying all the negative things about each other, start mm -hmm. the, stop the personal attacks, start paying attention to what's happening in our environment, what's mm -hmm. how, how our government is performing, look at the things that they do, encourage them to do the things that we need them to do, mm -hmm. and, 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 and be more of a part of the solution. Yeah. I think that that would, that would help. They'll go a long way in, in, making, in helping us to make progress. Mm -hmm. Well, as we got all in all, we had a wonderful show, and of course, the show could not be done without the people in this Virgin Islands who, you know, who support the businesses that make the show possible. So, all in all, I would say we had a, a wonderful show, and as I usually say, God bless these Virgin Islands and the people that live in it, and I'll see you again next week.